Okay, well, you know how everyone says this is the messiest kind of painting? They aren't kidding. Now, this is a very small 8x7 uh, wood box, $2 at the dollar store. It's the only small thing I have. I have a few smaller canvases that I plan to make a, a real painting on, but I wanted to try out my swipe technique uh, when my blowing technique didn't work too well, and look at what happened. I did get cells. Obviously, they're they're mixed and matched. They're all over. They're not uniform. I still have to probably take a lot off, but I got the the effects that you want. I got the basic effects. The rest is to, you know, work on my, your composition and plan it a little better, but... Hey, this was my little spin box that I made in five minutes with a dollar store Lazy Susan. And uh, you can spin it like I did. And I get quite a few good spins. And you can see they get bigger as you do that. Now, obviously, there's some areas here that are really smeared and so on. But, you know, if this was a painting I wanted to save, and probably will, uh, I will, you know, put other effects down there or just some different colors, or maybe I'll work on it and try to get more uh, cells, maybe with different colors. But yeah, I find the the um, technique where you, where you do the swiping really effective. Um, I did have to add some more um, drops to like wood conditioner and a little bit more Floetrol to get this so maybe I would do okay. I did blow one little area right here where I added some purple which I had not had on there before and I got cells. So yes when I blew on it I did get cells once I'd added that extra wood conditioner and that's this is just a really promising start. It's not like it's wow look at this awesome painting but you look at the potential when, you know, if I just used a little less paint, I put way too much on. I mean, I, I don't even know why I did that, but it's for such a small um, canvas. But, you know, that's the reason I have to take half of it off now. But it, it, all in all, it worked like it's supposed to. I have a, a proper um, spinner that I'm going to make. I'm going to put a big piece of cardboard over it so I could put bigger... Um, canvases on it if I do decide to spin some more art. This is good for now. I mean, I'm going to obviously use this, but I'll just use it with plastic around it. Unless I per I'm not going to put up anything permanent, I don't think. But this is this is definitely fun. The swiping is a lot of fun and it can be a part of the uh the whole painting at some point and then you can add different effects. But this is my very first 8 by 7 um, what do you call it? Shelly Bloom technique. Um, uh, thanks to the Painted Dreamer. She taught me a lot just by answering all my questions, uh, for free. There's a lot of mistakes on this, but when I see the cells, I see, you know, how people get to where they get with this. And I know exactly which way I'm going. I'm just, uh, Taking a muddy road to get there. Also, people who said this is the messiest art they've ever done weren't kidding. I had, like, white uh, in my hair from trying to blow it that first time. Uh, the white paint got in my hair. If you'd known what I just spent on my hair and all the what I went through to, to get it proper, it's just hilarious. Anyway, I just wanted to show that I did uh, make my first real swipe with a spinner. And uh, I'm going to work on it. So if it gets any improvement, I will put it up here. So, and also, I just want to say hi and thanks to everybody. I was watching the news uh, tonight, and I just said, you know what? I'm going to go paint, and then I'm going to maybe make cookies. I'm not going to watch the news. Okay. Have a good one.